Desmond Tinley Peel, Stout and the Queen. Before I invite Lord Hughes to explain the advice which the Board will tender to Her Majesty, I wish to say a few brief words about Dr Joseph Archibald QC, of whose passing away on the 3rd of April the Board is very sad to hear. Unfortunately, Dr Archibald could not take plate part in the hearing on the 19th of February, but he was closely involved at all stages of the appeal, and I understand that his daughter was present at the hearing before the Board. His long and distinguished career started with call to the bar in St Kitts and Nevis in 1960, and it continued until his death in the British Virgin Islands, where he took silk in 1980. In addition to the private practice which he there <coughs> carried on, Dr Archibald held numerous posts of public significance. These included president from 1986 to 1994 of the British Virgin Islands Bar Association, which he was instrumental in forming. He was founding president of the OECS Bar Association from 1991 to 1996, member of the Executive and Legislative Councils of the BVI, Director of Public Prosecutions, and then Crown Attorney, the office now known as Attorney General. He was a generous supporter of a number of causes and received an honorary doctorate of laws from the University of the West Indies in 2004. He was with reason described as one of the Caribbean's most experienced advocates and appeared before the board in at least four reported cases. On behalf of all the members of the board, I wish to convey our condolences to his wife, the Deputy Governor, and all his family. I invite Lord Hughes to give the judgment. This was an appeal against conviction in a case of murder by shooting in the street. The issue was who had been responsible. The Board's conclusion is that there were inadvertent errors in the judge's directions to the jury in relation to hearsay evidence which had been adduced by both the prosecution and the defence. However, on full examination of the evidence, it was clear that that element of misdirection did not affect the safety of the conviction. There was no significant risk that the hearsay had been misreported and its content was very fully supported by other evidence, not least things which the defendant himself had said. Uh, there was, accordingly, no miscarriage of justice. Uh, for these reasons, which are more fully set out in the uh, judgment, the Board will humbly advise Her Majesty that the appeal should be dismissed.